Hello and welcome to the now annual Pixel Spank retrospective. I'm Beta Ray Ben. It's year three, according to my maths, in that this is the third one of these I've done, so it's, it's, it has to be year three. I've got my notepad, which prior to this had last year's notes on it, because that's, that's how often I move things around. Right, so has it been a good year? It's been an alright year. Up until the last month, it's been an alright year, I should say. Uh, let's get straight into the, the, the to the business. What's been going well for Pixel Spank this year? Apparently, Street Sharks, incredibly popular. There's an old Street Sharks video on the channel that, I don't know, Street Sharks is just in vogue now, apparently. It seems to pick up a lot of comments, a lot of debate. Um, a lot of people very angry about how little we generally knew about street sharks in that video. That was all. That was all fun and games. Uh, what game is oddly popular for the channel? Apparently, right? If you if you ask the random man on the street, what is Pixel Spank? Why do people enjoy Pixel Spank? Um, obviously, ninety nine percent of those people would say, "What are you talking about?" One percent of those people would say. I don't know, probably something related to the spank part of the name. Um, and then a fraction that is immeasurable of those people would presumably say, I like it for the Ben 10 videos. Because I've put out a few Ben 10 videos now in the game Ben 10 Game Generator 5D. I think there's actually a longer title than that, but I, I don't know it. People really like it, apparently. I assume it's very popular with kids. Um, I really, I nearly, really need to throw some more at. Uh, I can hear a siren in the background. How can there be a siren? I live in the middle. Of, there's no roads where I live. There can't be sirens. So yeah, Ben, ben Ten. Expect, expect more of that. In, in fact, no, don't, don't expect more of that in the future. For, for the, for the main reason it's gone badly is. What was it? January. Yeah. I woke up a few. Few uh, few weeks ago, to an email from YouTube saying that they're ch they're changing their their policies to uh, essentially smaller YouTube channels such as this one are no longer eligible for monetar monetization mon monetization for for putting adverts on videos. You have to have, I think it's over a thousand su thousand subscribers and over. I want to say 4,000 hours watch time in a year, which I went back and had a look at my numbers. Uh, is it 4,000 or 400? It's a lot of hours of watch time. Either way, I went back and looked at the numbers. I was like, well, I'm not that far off a 1,000 subscribers, but I'm a long way away from that amount of watch time. So uh, so that's, that's probably never going to happen. So any, any money I've ever made off the channel... I'll, ne I'll never make any more. On the other hand, right, the way it works at YouTube is you monetize your videos. When you're a small channel, you'll do that and you'll make like a few pennies or cents a month. If you do it through YouTube, they don't pay you until I think you get to a threshold of, I think it's $60 or it might be £60 and $100, somewhere around that mark. So it's a long way off for most people. I presume anyone who is still building up to that figure and has now been demonetized can, unless they get re-monetized, never make it to those lofty heights. I, however, was part of a network, Freedom, it's called, an MCN, which what they do is they take 40% of your earnings, they give you the other 60% straight away. So in, in, a, in effect, instead of, instead of waiting for YouTube to pay you out at like the big threshold of $60, they'll just pay you whatever. So I'd make, you know, a dollar a month from them. So what I actually have is like an account with, I don't know, there's probably about $40, $50 in it now, which I, I'd just lost otherwise. So I, I've won in the long run and they, they all called me fools for joining an MCN because you get no real benefits, but they get all your money. But e either way, I've, I've won out there and the, and the days of the MCN are soon going to fail, aren't they? With all this nonsense going on. Um, I haven't I haven't put any statements out on on YouTube. I get I guess this is it. Oh, funnily enough, actually, this video is coming out on February first because that's the official birthday day. That's also the date that they're they're demonetizing, aren't they? That's just coincidence, sheer coincidence. Uh, I won't be 
I won't be changing anything. Uh, content will stay the same. Um, I don't intend to make it better, so sorry. There's a... Uh, yeah, yeah, it won't, won't change. Stay the same. My output will stay the same. Might even increase. Might. No. No, that would, that would imply that I'm trying to do more. Definitely stay the same. Uh, who's my commenter of, of the year? So th this year, I've, I've been very fond of one Vincent Mirandola, who pretty much, on not on all my videos, but on certainly all of like the X-Men ones and a lot of the other ones, he just leaves one comment on all of them, just the word brilliant. Um, and it's, it's gotten to the point where YouTube actually thinks it's spam, so I have to individually approve all of his comments, because in my head it's not spam. But he, it, there's nothing else he ever comments. It's brilliant, just brilliant. I've been on his channel, because I, I, when you get these things, you've got to know who these people are. And if, if you're watching, you're great. And it, it's weird. His profile picture is, I'm pretty sure, the girl from How to Tame Your Dragon. I want to say Astrid. And his banner picture is a similar yet different picture of her. But then the weird thing is, normally with a channel like that, they'd have no videos, like none at all. And it's just like, it's just a viewer's channel. But this person doesn't, they have, they have quite a few videos up, like a lot, and he uploads relatively often. But they're the weirdest videos. <laughs> they're, they're, they're screen recordings, so like he's taken a camera and recorded his TV of credits of just TV programs, and it's it's like really weirdly specific. Like it will be, uh, it'll be like the the X Factor 2016 closing credits semi final. This really weird stuff, and I, and I just think who's watching this? And then I, I looked on his most viewed, and it, his top one was like the cro closing credits to an episode of The Simpsons, but it wasn't it wasn't like an HD version of the closing credits someone might need for some purpose, or a very special closing credits. It was just some random episode. Just the credits. I, I can't I can't quite figure it out. But I'm, I'm convinced he's a true fan and not some sort of spam bot. It it seems too elaborate for spam, you know? Uh, right, that's, that's that done. I'm, I'm getting through my list of rate and knots right now. Uh, so this video is coming out on a Thursday, which is fortunate because I see I'm running low on content to put out on a Thursday. I normally like to do. I I say retro games, but it's not really retro. It's just older games, not current games would be the best way to describe it. I'm looking at my list here. I've 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 done all my N64 games. They're long since gone. I thought I had a lot of them, but well, I did. They're all gone. SNES, I had wiped all them out, then thank Christ the SNES Classic came out, because that that just that breathed new life into it, plus they work every damn time. But I've nearly run out of them. The only, well, the only ones I haven't done are the, the ones I want to do in full, so they're no good for a Thursday. PS1 games, my PS1 game collection is shocking, like, it's awful. And just the general condition of a lot of the games is bad. I think I've got... Somewhere, somewhere in this room, it's a very large room, my office, there must be a secret cache of PS1 games, but I, I don't know where it is. If I can find them, I'll have a lot more to do, and they're, they're generally some of my more favourable PS1 games, but I, I've no promises of that. So then we're, I, I've, st I've, st I've moved on to GBA, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color a lot. I've hit up most of those, Turns out a lot of them that I had were re-releases of other games, uh, mainly Super Nintendo. So I've, I've pushed for a lot of them, and there's a few like a couple of the Zelda games, uh, Minish Cap, for example. I'm gonna, obviously I'm just going to play them in full, so that they're, they're out. They're they're a bad choice. I've got I've got this, which if you're not aware, this is a Dreamcast. It's um, a very generic looking console. I was if I had to guess, the game in here will be Power Stone. Uh, yep, Power Stone 2, the best game on the Dreamcast. I intend to get this going at some point. The only thing is, 
I don't know where the leads are, and I've got a feeling the console doesn't even work. I remember last time I played it, it wasn't black and white, but it wasn't in colour. That's the best way I can describe it. it. If I had to assess the issue, I'd say it was probably just a broken broken lead, like when you had the the component, like two of them were gone, or, or something along those lines. If I get that working, that's, yeah, that's a... That's a few months of hefty content there. No joke though, Power Stone is a really great game. I really hope they bring it back. It's just, it's the closest thing to a, a Smash Brothers competitor I've seen without being a clone. So there's that, that that's on the offing. And then I'm thinking I could start moving forward with like, well actually I've, I've done a fair, a fair number of PS2 games. I, I've got a few of them I could push out. Not I've got no nostalgia for them as well. Similar with GameCube. I, I'm going through them, but a lot of them I just, I, I play them and I'm like, oh, one video is not really enough. They're, they're more, they're deeper games, so they require more. But, you yeah, know, I'll, I'll work on that. And then the, there's the looming issue of the Wii. There's a lot of good games for Wii. I've got a lot of them. I want to, I want to make videos on them. But the motion controls, I don't know, I don't know how well that will trans, I mean, the main thing is, I might have to just stand up when I make videos. I don't want to have to do that. I like sitting down. I should I should stand up when I do these. It'd be way more energy, or at least adopt a, a kind of lunged position to still use the table. Uh, so that's that's where we're at with retro games. I did, I did briefly, very briefly, think about going via, via the emulation route, which I quite like the idea of because there's there's a lot of older games that I I really want to try. Um, but I'm not a, a big fan of am emulators and the, the trouble is when you play a game through an emulator you never know what quirks are due to the emulator and what are down to the game itself and it says it's, it's never quite the full picture you know uh, right well that's that's about it for, for year three based content going forward I'm going to I'm going to try and do more so I've, I've been doing a lot of Lego recently, as you as you'll be aware if you watch. But I'm gonna use that Tuesday slot to do more stuff from this, from this area, more, more crafts, more, uh, not reviews, but just looking at things. I've got, I've got a box of random crap over there. That's gonna be quite exciting. If, if you thought if you thought Street Sharks was was a was a random pull. You should you should imagine what's in that box over there. The mystery box. Now, on to the last part of the video. I didn't want to I didn't want to publicise this at the start because I feel it's disingenuous and I, it it might bring in the wrong element. But I've got a bit of a giveaway to do. Uh, so over the past. I don't know, a few years now through three separate sources. Um, three? No. Ba basically, I get sent a lot of games. I get sent so many games, sometimes I get sent games more than once so that I can't really use them. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a giveaway of Steam Keys, right? I haven't actually got that many to give away. There's a, there's a few big games on there. Uh, so I'm, go I'm gonna read, I'm not entirely certain how I'm gonna do this. I'm going to read off all the games I've got to give away. Um, if if you want one of these, just just leave a comment. Um, there's there's a good chance if it's one of the more popular games, maybe more than one person will want them. So I don't know. Leave, leave a reason why you want it. I'll get gi I'll give it to the best reason. So here, here's the games I've got to give away. These are all on Steam, by the way. So there's Fight the Dragon, which uh, I've never played on the channel. It's not a great game. Ibn Ob, which you may have heard of, is like a two-player platformer game, which I have attempted to make a video out of about three or four times over the past three years, and every single time it's failed for one reason or another. It's like it's like the ultimate test game. I try I try and make a video and it just won't work. Uh, I've got several copies of Guns of Icarus online, so if anyone wants a copy of that, go ahead. Uh, Minion Masters, which uh, so they. These first four, these were games that are in my like Steam gifting library, and I don't really know why they're in there for the most part, particularly Minion Masters, to the point where every now and again I see that in my inventory and I think, where the hell does that come from? 
do I do I own this? Then I look at my my games page like, well, I do own it. Uh, so there's those four. If you're interested in those, you know, Ibn Ob's actually pretty good. So is Guns of Icarus, to be fair. And I've not played Minion Masters. Uh, I've got Le Lego Jurassic Park or Lego Jurassic World. It's, it's the Lego Jurassic game. It's got Jurassic Parks 1, 2 and 3 and Jurassic World in there. It's really good, actually. Uh, I played I played for it on Steam. It's, it's brilliant. Genuinely, it might be my favourite Lego game. I've thought about somehow making videos in it, but the trouble is, I just I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do anything other than watch because I I love those films so much, and I I think the game may actually be made just for me, honestly, because it's not a great game to Legoify. If you think about it, there's no real combat. Like they're never they're never particularly fighting the dinosaurs all that often. Maybe maybe one or two scenes throughout the thing, the whole film. In, in the Lost World, there's a little bit where it, there's like some human and on human kind of fighting, but not really. So they had to really, uh, they had to pull out a lot of stops to make that game fun and involving, didn't they? If you, if you think about any time a dinosaur and a human get together, the dinosaur normally wins. Civilization Six, Sid Meier's Civilization Six. It's Civ Six. It's it's a huge game. I like it. It's really good. I'm pretty certain I've got Civ 6 and all the current content for it. So they've, they've released a lot of smaller... Fi I think I've got codes for all of that. So if you, if you want that, it's, it's good. It's not as good as Civ 5 yet, but it is still a very good game. The, uh, the, the computer AI is a bit rocky. Uh, Warhammer The End Times, Vermintide. I think that's what it's called. That's the one, it's like Left 4 Dead, but you're fighting rats and it's in Warhammer. That's a really fun game, actually. That's a, I did one video of it for the channel, which didn't really do it justice, because I was doing it single player and there were issues. But that's, 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 a, that's a very fun game indeed. So if you want, if you want that, you know. Uh, I've got Overcooked, the uh, four player cooking game. Uh, I, I will point out, Danny, if you're watching this, this isn't a code you gave me. This, this was acquired through my own merits. Uh, yeah, if, if you've not played Overcooked, it's brilliant. It's local co-op is excellent. No online, but that's fine. Worms WMD. Is it the best Worms game? Possibly. Is it the most recent Worms game? Probably. SteamWorld Heist. It's not as good as SteamWorld Dig. It's not as good as SteamWorld Dig 2, but it is it's quite good, SteamWorld Heist. It's, uh, it's like 2D XCOM. But less less punishing would be the best way to describe it, gameplay wise at least. Abzu, which uh, is like is like Journey but underwater. It's uh, a lot of swimming. It's a really great game. I actually I actually did a full play series of it, which I never released because I did it in one sitting. It's only about two hours long. Did it in one sitting, finished it, took a deep breath, and the record recording had failed. So I was, I was like, oh, that's that's hugely depressing because I can never. I could never do it again, could I? It's just all lost. So Abzu, that's a, that's a great game. Uh, Total War Warhammer. I think the second one of them is either coming out or it's just come out. Or Either way, I've got the first one. I've not played it. I once tried to play Total War, I think it was Empire. It's one of them. I got, I got sent that for free. Couldn't really get on with it. And I, I, I got Total War Warhammer and I still haven't really... I haven't tried it. I, I might well like it, but I've got that if you want it. Uh, Undertale, a game which apparently is really good. Tumblr fucking loves it. I've yet to really play it. I've owned it for ages, brought it on a Steam sale. Still haven't got around to it. I, I did that thing where I keep starting it up. And I think it's it's quite an, it's quite like an old fashioned sort of game when you start it up. And I don't know. There's a is it is it only keyboard control? There's some reason I haven't played it that will come back to me if I try and start it. The Cheering Test, which uh, I did a full play on that, I'm pretty sure. That's a really good game. It's like a puzzle game on the, the Jupiter, somewhere like that. Got a vibe of uh, with the film Moon about it. It's, it's certainly a good game worth playing. It, it looks pretty good as well. It's got a good visual to it. Super hot. Which is that action game where the enemies only move when you move. 
which I've been meaning to make a video in for ages, but I don't know, it won't play ball with my recording software or something odd like that, as, or it's just got it's just archaic when I start it. There's, there's probably a good reason for it if I haven't. Uh, you may notice this list, it gets significantly better towards the end, doesn't it? Well, I did. I should probably have read it in reverse order, given that all, most of the bigger games are at the end. Anyway, anyway, I started the giveaway, it's like, yeah, Fight the Dragon, it's an indie game you've never heard of and is not warmly reviewed. Um, Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider, which, yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's better than it had any right to be. I've, I've never been a fan of... of Tomb Raider, but this Tomb Raider, this is this is the, like the Square Enix remake. I want to say 2014. It's really good. It's the one they're making a film out of, or, or the film's coming out this year of it. So there's that. If you want that, it's good. And Resident Evil 5, which is my favourite Resident Evil game, because I don't like scary games, but I do like action games. And Resident Evil 5 is a it's a really good action game, particularly good in multiplayer. I've never played it, well, no, tell a lie. I have played it single player briefly, and it's not great because you've got an AI companion the whole time who, I presume you, she she plays by her own rules, but you don't know what those rules are, and they seem to change a lot. But if you can get, if you can play that in co-op with someone, it's, it's really good fun, particularly because you're not, you're not the same. You you level up individually your weapons and equipment and stuff. So you you have different styles. It just makes for a very good game. So uh, yeah, that's that's the giveaway. Um, I ba I basically got all of them to give away. So uh, I don't know one per person, something like that, or or one of the bigger games per person. I, I don't know if you, if you put forth a good case for what, for what you want. I don't fully know how I'm going to give them to you. I think some of them are just codes. I can just give you the code. Others, others I might need to be friends with you on Steam. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. It's not that hard. Um, I feel I feel like I should have one of those one of those things you pull and confetti comes out or or streamers just 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 as a little lackluster finish, uh, but I haven't. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next year.